Welcome to today's news. The news updates. Stolen mandates. Picha will be in big trouble as wishes take strong action against him. Issues serious warning. Thank you for tuning in to today's news. But kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, please listen to the end. The 2023 presidential election was certainly an interesting presidential election that Nigerians had witnessed in recent times and it ended with APC's Bola Ahmed Tinubu being announced by INEC as the winner ahead of the likes of Peter Robi, Atiku Abubakar, Rabi Musa Kwankwaso and others. Since the former Lagos state governor emerged as the nation's president-elect, the likes of Peter Robi, Atiku Abubakar, have gone to the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PEPT, claiming that they respectively won the February 25th presidential election. As it stands now, Bola Tinubu would be sworn in as the president on May 29th, 2023, on the day that President Mohamed Buhari's tenure officially comes to a close. In a stunning development, White Wishes and Wizards Association of Nigeria urged aggrieved politicians not to scuttle the inauguration of the president elect Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tenobu on May 29th at the Eagle Square, Abuja. The group also said Tenobu will be provided with no fewer than 300 wishes and wizards to ensure that no harm comes his way, adding that they are unhappy about the manner in which politicians have conducted themselves since Tinubu was announced as the winner of the February 25 presidential poll. Speaking to newsmen in Calabar, the group's spokesman, Dr. Okwe Obio stated that we welcome Tinubu back to the country. We cover that Tinubu emerged the winner at our group's spiritual presidential election held about two months ago before the terrestrial February 25 presidential election. Now, we have reviewed the volatile developments in the country. We urged the aggrieved parties to give peace a chance because resulting to self-help will do more harm than good to the policy. The White Wishes and Wizards has issued a strong warning to Peter Roby and they made it known that they know that politicians are fully ready to disrupt or interfere in the swearing in of Tinumbu on May 29. But they are fully ready to give Tinumbu 300 wishes and wizards so that no harm will come before Tinumbu. Remember that Tinumbu left the country a few days after the election. He traveled to France to take some rest, and also deliberate on the nation's issue. Came back to the country 34 days later, and it was seen whereby the white wishes said they are very happy that Tinubu came back to the country strong, and that in their own meeting two months before the presidential election that Tunubu won and this have had to happen in real life. So they are giving Tunubu their full support since he's their candidate and they don't want any evil 
or anything to before him. And remember that the opposition parties has gone to the tribunal courts to file petitions against P- Tinumbu just to make sure that Tinumbu is not sworn in. And also, a, a presidential candidate 2019, Ambrose Oruru, also went to the court that Tinumbu should not be sworn in. That in 2019, it was the one that won the election. So this cannot give Tinubu the chance to perform the president of Nigeria until the cases in the courts are being resolved. But the right wishes and wizards are pleading with politicians and others not to interfere or disrupt the inauguration, the swearing in of Ashwajibala Metinubu. That is the only one that can make the country suitable for every one of us. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take? Please share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.